<laughs> no, I know. We're in the market, so we have to be quiet. Um, okay, hey guys, welcome to IG Live. And we are in the middle of um, it's called market. That means that you have a new collection out and you are showing it to all the different buyers in there and, and the press. So that's what we're doing. So sometimes if we talk in a lower voice, that's why. But today's conversation is going to be about color. And if you guys have the book, you know that there is the color wheel in there. And the color wheel has sparked a lot of questions. Um, and they're questions that, uh, I'm glad they're sparking questions because that means like you're, you're really thinking about things, it's tapping into your curiosity. There's no way to answer every question around the color wheel simply because the color wheel can never be complete. Colors are virtually endless but also because there is no um, absolute right or wrongs when it comes to color. Actually, do you mind grabbing the book with the color wheel? I forgot to, sure. to bring that. Um, but to that end, what we want to discuss today is how do colors make you feel? Because that is really the thing about colors is they are used to help convey your mood or create a mood in you. And so there's, Again, no right or wrong in terms of colors. And the only time when you feel off, when you feel wrong in a color, tends to be because of the breakdown of um, the rule of the eggs wearing a bright that is in a fabrication that is basic and not icky glossy or sculptural. Or if you are wearing something that is out of the one ton or none field. But if you've got one ton or none feel uh, completely on, and if you have your igs correct, if you're wearing a color, is it icky, glossy, or sculptural? If you have those two covered, then there is virtually no right or wrong right. with wearing color. It's just about what is the mood that that's creating. And so my examples that I gave, one of the examples had like a hot pink shirt mm -hmm. and navy blue pants. Right. And if you are wearing something that is very dark with something very bright, what you probably know from experience is that when you put it on, it's, it's, a, it's more energetic, it's more energizing, it might be very bold feeling on you. As a collection, that's something that is something we did a year and a half ago, yeah. two years ago, our resort collection had a lot of sticky gummy turquoise with like black and there was a lot of like black with very Not saturated like vibrant, color. Like red orange. Exactly. And then for this season, we've done a lot of these more subdued and pastel tones. But here's the thing. When we did the collection a year and a half ago or whatever for resort, it's not like it was a bold, bright color with dark no. trend and now that trend's over. That's not what it's about. Like, as a, as a creative director, as a stylist, for a collection, you want to evoke a mood. And if that mood was strong and bold, it doesn't, no one's ever walking around going, strong and bold is so yesterday, right? Like if they are, I don't know. <laughs> you're crazy. So it's not your moods that go out of date. It's what mood it is that maybe we are happening to lean into for a collection but your other moods that you feel are real. So having a closet that is very well versed, that can give you a vocabulary every day to express your moods, is the goal that we're going for here. So when we talk about colors that work together, we'll show you some of the mishaps that happen, and you'll see that when they happen, it's not because like you've mixed the wrong shade of yellow with the shade of green, it's because comes down to one ton or none or the eggs. So this is, talk about this like whole amazingness you have. This is cultural, icky, gross, um, yep. all everything, of that. all that. So I kind of, I know ring one is black, but for me, I'm like a ring two girly. Um, so that's really like these darker neutrals, maybe brown, dark green, dark gray. So these are all your good shades of neutrals. When you wear them, def definitively no one's like, oh, that's a color. <laughs> they're like, they're your good neutrals, right? Yeah, for sure. So I decided to start with this brown jersey tunic, which we just, um, 
lunch on the website and also we showed it for spring runway with the matching brown skirt we also showed it in purple but i wanted to kind of show you guys how you can break that apart and incorporate color other than just the accessories so i actually layered our um, turquoise slip underneath and decided to make this a tunic and then i went with a kelly green shoe that is really like a satin and honestly like kind of gross reminds me of like a real point shoe mm -hmm. um and something about the colors are so off that i actually really enjoy them yeah like i never in fact i was like oh i don't know about this kelly green and i was like thinking oh i want a red shoe and then i was like no maybe i just i want something different mm -hmm. we've been obviously we've been looking at this collection for quite some time um but these are definitely the second ring, third ring, fourth ring of the color wheel. And yeah, and it's so, you know, when we talk about like what you're purchasing for your closet to build out this color wheel, this shoe is just a great tool. And so when you're thinking about items that you're in love with and you're kind of doing a mental checklist about whether or not you really need totally. it in your closet really make sure that you can identify what role that item is going Absolutely. to play. And so this shoe is like the perfect thing to give that outfit that friction. It's just totally. very unexpected and that's totally. what it's doing. Yeah. Is it, whose is that? Is that the row? They're the row. Okay, yeah. So those are from the row. And this is all Tippy. And this is Tippy. And this is, okay, by the way, this is a double zero. The, the dress is also a double zero. Um, I got my in so this is like the true size and how I'm wearing it and I would say too that I tend to have like some key colors that I buy in like all shades of yeah totally. and I think that if I did not narrow that down my closet would be endless so like for me I do have a lot of greens so <laughs> I love those shoes but like for you like even having like that green bag would just totally. Totally. And again, this is not for sale. This is an old Miriam Schaefer one that we did. But for me, even with the lavender, if I'm wearing the green, it just all like, um, it all just plays in. Yeah. Yeah. And so, Katura yeah. over here. Yeah. Andrew, would you tell us what you're wearing first? So, I'm wearing the um, lavender Charlie shirt, and this is the slimmer body. And then I'm wearing the. Um, the viscose sweater here that we love um, I love this it's one that again you know remember you guys we love all of our sweaters worn all different ways um, the great thing about the Charlie is that I'm going to show it to you what it looks like untucked but this is one someone was asking me about this hack the other day what I love is that you can take this it's the slimmer shirt so it's got the double shirt tail and what you can do here is you can also tie it in a knot in the back and then it splits open very naturally in the front and gives you this look. And um, what you wanna look for in a shirt is the versatility that it could be that pure men's shirt, but that it also can be the shirt that nips in at the waist. And there's that brand, I'm not gonna say the name of the brand, but they have that store that's like only shirts or whatever. And like, they've got those shirts that like, you can buy one that's got like all these princess seams. And We're just using one shirt for yeah. all. Just one shirt. And what happens is, if you want this nipped in look, if I had this like seamed to death, like I would look like so fucking wound up, you know? Like it's amazing how like, a shirt can do that. Totally. Exactly. So, cool. that's it. Uh, wait, before you come on, can I have Alana come on just real quick since she's kind of standing up? Alana's like, I'm <laughs> Okay, so I'm bringing Alana out because one of the questions that it was funny after I saw you, I got this question. This woman's like, sometimes I just wake up and I just want to wear black and white and I don't want to take it further than that, but I want to feel something from it. And when I saw you, I'm like, Okay, you're wearing black and white, and I have the, you know, the triggers from having waiter, waitress forever, and um, I never want to feel like garçon here, but this is not giving me garçon vibes at all, and one of the reasons why I think is the way you've used 
like the jewelry. And yeah. I think with black and white, what I love about it is sometimes like if you use black and white and then you try and do a bright color pop, oh, that looks awesome. very basic. Like a red. Yeah. yeah. Like or like a bright yellow bracelet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I can never That's see you doing. But when you show, so yeah. you're, you're wearing the acne ring. And I like, I love that. And yeah, it was easy. That. Just put it together, one, two, three, and yeah. left. I didn't think a lot about it. And then the sneakers. So I think for me, when you're wearing black and white and you just want to throw that on and be seamless and go, but still have an emotional feeling that you're interesting, that you're creative, all of that, I think having those little pieces, don't forget what jewelry can do. Um, don't lean too hard on the clothing. If you do that, you're going to have like a crazy, crazy closet. So if you see a piece like what Alana's wearing from Acme there, um, those are the pieces, like get them. Don't You don't have to spend the whole bank on them, but they'll lift up a whole lot. Thank you. You can go back to designing over there. Um, all right. Yeah. Hi, guys. Okay. Let's so, talk about it. Should we break not, it down or put or break it you're in? You're not going asymmetrical on the shoe. No. Uh, obviously. There's a big point to this. Yeah. You saw my post earlier when I said could commute by bike. So you saw this outfit without the jacket. You also saw it with the sneaker because that was my commute. So we're going to dig into what happened when I put this jacket on. Okay. And what that felt like. So let's take the jacket off yep. first, right? I'll hold it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Oh, should I put one? All right, let's not. <laughs> well, I think they're both doing That's important. One. Okay. So I think what, so. When I said if things can feel off the rails sometimes, don't focus on whether or not you like a color or not. Sometimes it is about what that one ton or none moment is doing. And so when you came in right here, like this is reading none. It's in the good mm -hmm. neutrals. It's, you know, if you're looking at the book, like when you're mixing these two uh, rings together, even this other ring as well, like those read, as your good neutrals, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. In this case, though, white becomes a color because it's quite mm -hmm. stark. And it's one. And lavender is a color as well. You've got the bright ring, but you guys, I, I wish in hindsight, the one thing I would have done is shown within the bright that the pastels are included in there as well. So it's kind of whatever fits in that ring of like from bright hot pink to baby pink, from dark purple to light purple. Yep. So this is creating a one. Whether you've gone with the lavender or whether you've gone with the white, my eye is going to the to one. One place on your body. It's landing down there and it's all the good fashion. So now now which I also think about it interesting because if this were a darker denim, you know, would that different also story. Be, right. No. So yeah. now if you look at me, your eye is going of course straight to which is amazing, but to the jacket mm -hmm. and to the shoe, which is kind of a sandwich vibe. It's, it feels lighter. I actually feel a little bit off balance. I can see myself and I can see that I want one less of something. Exactly. And so this, this is the stuff that is, it is so incredibly subtle, but as you really start to understand these core premises, it's kind of like we talked about that movie documentary, Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat. When you really start to understand so intrinsically how all of these tones, shades, and colors work together, you you are going to feel what the answer is. So right now, a lot of you just simply you feel off, yeah. but you don't have that intuitive sense yet of like, is it more salt? Is it? is it more acid? What's is it missing? More heat? Or what's too much? Exactly. Yeah. So when you put on the light, Katura, immediately I wanted to give you sorry that foot. I wanted to give you a shoe that would just be the nun. So now, again, I'm just going right to one. And this is the lighter element here on your body. And that's where my eye is going. And so this, like, it's stuff where when you put it on, you all of a sudden feel just a little more at ease. Mm -hmm. These are the things that when you see someone on the street that you're like, damn, she has style. This is kind of what's happening because you're just seeing the full person and not the pieces. The yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, and also if you wanted to know, I think he asked what I was wearing. I'm wearing the um, 
Shiny nylon. The shiny nylon. What size are you wearing? Extra large. Extra large. The Can we see the t-shirt again? Mm -hmm. I love this t-shirt. So, so this so feels bad. so good. Today it's like beautiful out, 60 degrees. I'm wearing the featherweight easy t-shirt in cashmere. Mm -hmm. I do not feel too warm. I felt warm enough. Um, and this is great. And I had a light jacket on. Cool. All right. So when we talk about the things in your closet, that neutral ring is so critical because a lot of the DMs were people who are in the black and white rut. And then if you're in the black and white rut, maybe you graduate to the navy and black and white rut. When you find a way to get out of that rut without totally like jumping into crazyville, that is when um, it, it's very settling and it really allows you to lean into those moods without creating these whole new wardrobes each season. So for me, I'm just gonna put this on over because I wanna show you one of the easiest things to get out of that black and white rut is to push and bring in those really good, strange colored neutrals. It's not brown, it's not white, it's not black, it's not navy. It's got enough of an undertone so that when you have or if you have bright elements in your closet, like a big yellow sweatshirt, for instance, that like when you wear these elements, it takes them down a notch. Like for me, I would not, um, I'm just gonna grab a random white shirt here from Ball to give an example, but like up against white, like I don't wear white and bright yellow together very much. Like I've gotta be, in a real different mood, maybe on vacation, maybe back home in Georgia for like really hot out, that kind of vibe. But especially um, living in an urban environment, I want to be able to wear a brighter color, but not feel like I'm, you know, blowing Skittles out of my ass. So, <laughs> such a gross visual, but you know what I mean. So I think what this does is this color pant really, really allows me to um, partake in a good bright visual in my closet without feeling like I've lost my mind. Same with this purple. I love this color purple, but I'm definitely wearing it with something like this weird stone pant, where if I were wearing this with like a khaki pant or something, it would take on, yeah, very preppy and everything. So finding that way to do this and give it a little bit of edge, modernity and an urban vibe is really, really critical to me. So you really, these kind of pants or this colorway is really key in the closet. I decided to put this on over when I was wearing, so. Because it, sh because it, it tells a full, the whole story. Full, uh, oh, you complete me. <laughs> Can I quote you on that? <laughs> you complete me. Um, so I am wearing the Liam in the dark stone. This is a size four, I literally just I literally just took this from the closet because I wanted to show you guys how I'm wearing pastel and then a primary color. And also just wearing things that are now gonna be in my wardrobe. I'm not just buying things to buy them, I'm buying things because I know they work with my color palette, I know they work with my modifiers. Um, so with that said, I'm just gonna take this off. So I'm gonna, I know Amy's gonna be like, what are you wearing? Why are you just oh, like so Amy's not here, but Amy is here. Okay, so Christmas color combination, I use that like very broadly. Any combination of red and green from like burgundy to mint, um, I really love. And so this is actually a shirt from Resort. It is the Italian sporty nylon Gabe shirt. With the cocoon in the back. With the cocoon in the back, so it must be Gabe. Um, and I'm just simply layering this over for a very easy, spring transseasonal moment um, because, I mean, if you live in New York, then you know that it's literally 60 degrees today and 40 degrees tomorrow. So I just want to be able to layer and not have to worry about it. Um, and my modifier is risk taker, so I definitely think mm. the red pastel green is big. It's pigs, right? Big mm -hmm. pigs, all Icky. of that. Glossy. And sculptural because you have the sculpture in the back with the cocoon. Right. And you have the icky with the. Because it's all icky. <laughs> what? Well, it's it's, it's icky. all icky. You um, have the glossy, but I guess in a way. I mean, this is kind of. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this shoe is like a thing. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, and you know, these are pieces that again, I would incorporate back to the second and third ring um, to work them into the rest of my wardrobe and with my fundamentals. So we're also in like a nice little it's harmonious. I gotta admit, like I, I'm not a super pink. I do wear pink, but I wasn't sure about wearing pink on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, do I want that to draw attention to the bottom? Is it a big deal? And I loved how when Amy had this on in the Stella, mm -hmm. she had the brown t-shirt, it actually read more like a burgundy because yeah. it kind of lifted. It yeah, so I feel like this is a good way for me to do that. And I'm grounding it in the brown sandals because it's, it's like my one. And I feel not uber feminine, but also totally. this gloss gives me the eggs. I think like if the t-shirt is like a bit oversized, mm -hmm. you know, so obviously we have this one and then we have the baby tee. Which kind of hits like this. Which, exactly. Which and would make me feel a little different too because I feel super femme. With totally. Well, it's already like, and it's, I like having something like, you know, a little bit more volume mm -hmm. but, um, and then something a little bit more fitted and then. And you can see my bra just a little bit. I usually wear, oh, sorry, I just no, wanted to show no. the poster. Um, we are big fans of cup here, so I probably yeah. would, so this is like a tan that's not my skin tone, but I would probably go something a little closer to my skin tone, but it's still not super sheer. It's like just the right opaque. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I also wanted to show this because it's kind of the same silhouettes I was just wearing, but with the pink and with the t-shirt. So this is the same silhouette as the cashmere. Let me pop out. Like, no, no, but I just want to say like, as a team here. Oh my gosh. Should we take a picture? Screenshot it guys. <laughs> You know, the, you know just the really people just like they already did. Again, because it's so. I, I actually love us in this. I know, like bye. they're all not Charlie's Angels, but no. also. No, bye. Bye. Okay. I wasn't gonna say that's me. Somebody sure. has to be Beyonce. <laughs> Someone has to be Beyonce. Yeah, so bye, Beyonce. <laughs> I'll be Charlie. I'll be Charlie. Bye, bye. Um, okay, so the thing about mixing colors is when you really really figure out that way to get it done that it feels so sophisticated and in your wheelhouse and so like you like i am a person who wears a shit ton of navy and black and gray but this feels very much like me and i need these moments because it's just um you know color is good it can be very very uplifting and uh and i like i really like color i want to be able to wear it but not feel like I've lost my mind. So again, having these elements in your closet that you can pull out because, um, you know, I've got the mint around me right now, but also if I had, um, this is this uh, baby yellow that we did. What's good is like, if you, if you see yourself as having these, um, think of these colors in your closet as just ingredients that you would in this fictitious kitchen that I keep coming up with that I don't really use at all. But if you think of these items as your, as your elements to cook with, to make outfits with, you really start to think about pairing things together in terms of color, not trends, not like um, an assortment of outfits that a stylist has given you, but really you have them in your closet in a way to put together the outfits that every day communicate who you are, and then that other layer of how you want to feel that day. So I don't want to make things too complicated, but you know that we talk about your adjectives, the way that you describe yourself. We know that most of you here intersect at the adjectives of chill, modern, and classic. And we know that when we use words to describe ourselves, we, um, we use words that are adjectives that are actually used to describe a person, place, or thing. We don't describe ourselves as cupcakes. It's hard to say that we are a traffic light or a city or a decade. We tend to use words like happy, modern, considerate, conscientious. Those are the words that we use to usually describe ourselves. So if most of us are chill and modern and classic, and that can also mean effortless and kind of progressive in our thinking, respect for heritage, all those things tend to be synonyms for chill, modern, and classic. Then you also know that we talk then about the modifiers, the words that we use that kind of are like that one bit of extra difference that separate me from you. Uh, 
Sarah Katura and I wear all three chill modern and classic but our modifiers are very very different um, so those are your modifiers but then on top of that there's also like okay for me my modifier is humorous but there are days when I wake up and I just want to feel something a little different and Chill Modern and Classic is always there, but sometimes I just want color to make me feel something more, something happier. I think even to use a bad example, but a good example, like funerals are places that people will use it either to show, they'll use color to show respect, yep. they'll use color to celebrate life, like depending on we'll the funeral, but you know, that makes a difference, right? Yeah, well, yeah. it depends on the person. Like, I've worn purple for, like, someone's favorite color to a funeral because yeah. I really wanted to feel uplifted and remember them. Yeah. But I've also worn black or white if people suggest it. So it's like, you know, colors are, mean something. Yeah, they do. Speaking of which, yes. one, uh, what's the undertone of the shirt? Like, how would you describe the color? And then what are the name of the joggers? So the undertone of this shirt, like, um, we, you know, we gotta get everyone on Procreate because I feel like I'm Procreate. I could easily be like, just touch go it. to this area and Procreate, and you'll know what it is. Um, the undertone of this shirt is a little bit of a um, a slight green undertone. It's like maybe it's like a happier sage. I was gonna say a sage, a right. lighter sage, a lighter less, sage, less saturated, maybe right. a dusty sage. And then, um, but that dustiness in it, what I love about it then is with the brown of this pant that's very saturated, this dustiness works with that. And then this pastel color here has um, a lot of icy undertones to it. Mm -hmm. So it's still gray, but a little icy. And so what happens is when you've got all these three levels playing with each other, that is what is giving like a lot of depth to um, to the look here and you know this when we talk about your how to wear bright you know we talk about you wear them either in something that is icky something glossy or something sculptural and so for sure what we love about this top is you have this sculptural back here which puts everything at ease mm -hmm. and for me this is a four ply silk it is really really rich uh, super gutsy it's very gutsy super super gutsy and so making it into a sweatshirt body felt really really great and for me um, when something's in a silk you know guys sometimes you'll like write me a letter and you're like hi I have a hot pink fitted silk lovely shirt what can I wear it with? And a lot of times, honestly, like, you know, I can't even answer the DM because like, I'm like, you can't wear it. I, I can't wear talk it. talk about the sleeve detail that you don't yeah. kind of see, but like here, there's so many hidden details. That seam that's there that creates that sculpture that you talked about, it's beautiful. Completely drop seam here. Then you've got this ease in the back, but then you've got the sweatshirting detailing on it. So it gives the whole thing like a very chill vibe. So when we wear color, this is how, we tend to wear it, and um, and it's why I did not do like a fitted blouse here. This is the four ply um, cocoon back. I believe it says sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amy's wearing, I think, a. I'm wearing four. a small. Small. I hope I did small, medium, large. I'm the asshole if I didn't. Um, what size are you wearing here? I thought that I was wearing. Oh, you're wearing a twelve. Yeah, I thought I was wearing a twelve. Him and asshole. I didn't say that. I, <laughs> no. Okay. How'd anyway. I get here? Like, what's right. my name? I don't know. I sized name. it. I sized it. But it makes sense. This is a woven fabric, right? Yeah. Don't you, you usually size your woven? I do, but when it has a really dropped armhole like this and this curve to the sleeve here, I don't know. Tracy's the expert, so I bet Tracy found that without sizing it, she probably couldn't get the shaping that she needed. Oh, oh my god, oh god. Oh, Timmy! I Wait, but the SIDS, come in. Come on, oh. come in with your SIDS self. Sorry for those of you that's looking for a 24, I know. <laughs> Size 24. These are 24, five feet. feet. And five feet. Yeah. And this, we were cleaning out the sample closet the other day, and Sarah was like, hello, what is this? It actually came with hot pants. It did. Oh right? my God. With little pink shorts, which you yes. probably have in like a hockey bag somewhere. <laughs> 
In most likely. Um, but this was a Sarah special. No. Nah, well, yeah. And this is uh, you got it back. We have an old green label in here. Yeah. yeah. Oh no no oh, that's yeah, the this is the the floral. Yeah. That was the label number three. Um, but when we did this with the short shorts, to me, this was such the epitome of like a ton. It totally. was just so full on. I just wanted like a tiny gold, you know, tea strap, mm -hmm. little like that makes sense. sandal with it. But just like this was totally. a ton. Right. But what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't pair it with like a bright a green heel. skirt. No. Right. And I wouldn't wear it with a high heel. Right. You need to calm the hell totally. down. With. Totally. Which yes. is why I was like, oh, I could totally turn this around, make it like a little beaded bed jacket type. Like it's good. Been I mean, technically. This was a good resort. What is it? Tracy like knew immediately. She's like, well, of course, so, resort. Well, it's at least it's at least seventeen years yeah, old. Yeah, I think she said resort two thousand. Yeah, it's um, and we did it in black. The black one was really. Uh, but this paint is super. So the, yeah, so this is guys like a, fair, a pink pink. I don't know if it like. But you're wearing it back it's to bubble the bubble gum. Yeah, but I'm wearing it back to the gazelle tank in tan colorway, um, the Sid jean and a black Rudolph. So I went really classic, really like fundamental in terms of color, in terms of style. Obviously. And the belt too. And I the feel belt. Like that, that adds like an element of, like, I don't know, it's less traditional. You're not like going to. Totally. I, totally. I feel like it's more of like a vintage inspired belt. I was wearing earrings before. I took them off um, because there's a lot going on here. But I was really happy when I found this in the sample closet, like real far no, back, I like deep in this. the archive. This belongs to you now. <laughs> don't tell Amy, guys, don't tell Amy. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how you can incorporate vintage pieces, brighter colors that are maybe not represented here. Um, I chose to tone this down, and like Amy said, it was paired with pink hot shorts. Not my vibe. For fit, for fit, could you step back just a little bit so yeah. they can see, like where you're, and I'll step out a little bit just so they can see where it's hitting on you. If you turn to the side, so Sarah said this is a 24, mm -hmm. and you're five, right? Yep. So they definitely, and this is the petite version. They definitely hit the ground a little bit, but and she kind of just tucked it up in the back. Kind of how we do with the snap. Yeah. So I kind, yeah, exactly. And I kind of, whenever I'm on the subway, mm -hmm. I mean, I literally just got these on Friday, so. Whenever I'm on the subway, you guys know the joy. This, whenever I'm on the subway this morning, um, I literally can, you know, just tuck them underneath. But if I was wearing socks, they would just tuck them into. And I like that I can wear these a little bit higher than my Sam jeans. You just talked about that too. Literally, if it's like an inch higher. You said. Yeah, just about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Well, I just want to tell you guys before Amy steps up that this. We're talking about, um, she had the Mary on and I actually have on the active wide leg knit. I'm sure a lot of you have this. And it's kind of similar in tone to the green that she's wearing. So I'm wearing it as a neutral back to the cocoon top that we will have on, had on a minute ago. Yeah, this has like maybe a little more like blue undertone yep. in it. It's darker uh, and more blue. Yeah. And it is cold. More saturated. Oh, this one? Mm -hmm. Amy got it. <laughs> Mine? Yeah. Uh, skirt. <laughs> This is um, called a trouser skirt. This is a trouser skirt. I'm going to show you guys with some different The rune suiting. So this was a rune suiting. A rune suiting, yeah. It's it's um, for the, nice. <laughs> All right. So this is a, the Arun Arjun suiting. It's green. It's good. Um, we also did it in this brown colorway. So in this season, the feeling that I wanted to get was um, we talked about wanting to feel something, just feeling more. That was kind of the theme of the collection. This, the theme song was Peggy Lee's, Is That All There Is? We wanted to just feel something more and feel something really good. And so these really soft, beautiful colors allowed us to do that. But the minute that we started putting anything with harsh whites or harsh blacks, it took away the, the feeling that I was looking for. They worked together, but it wasn't the feeling that we were going for for the actual collection itself. So when you're wanting to build something more, something very sophisticated, but something that just is, maybe it's like a 
lighter in spirit. I'm looking at Matt over here saying this. But maybe we just wanted to feel a little bit of lightness, but still feel like ourselves. So these two colors in the Arun suiting, if I'm referring to that right, these two colors really allowed us to do that because you know, here, like whether or not I'm pairing this with the brown colorway or you've seen it here today with the greens, like this is just a way to, to just feel a little bit lighter in your clothing, but certainly still feeling like yourself. Um, and then too, like for me, um, I always have something red in my closet, red is a big color mainstay. So when I'm thinking about new colors for my closet, really thinking about what are the things that are going to be additive together. And if you think about building out your wardrobe in terms of colors, rather than the specific styles themselves, it should give you a lot of freedom with what you're buying. And again, it's the same as like, if you're going to the grocery store, a lot of people uh, go to the grocery store and you're just buying food. You're buying food that as long as you know that it is really good food and that on its own, you can be assured that you'll be able to make something, then that's really good for shopping. But if you shop constantly with like six recipes, mm. that's really like anxiety. You're like, am I on aisle 12, aisle three? Like. If they don't have this, can I substitute this for whatever? Yep. Like, that's very stressful. So the idea here is to get you in a place that when you're shopping, when you're looking for things, you don't have to know exactly what the recipe is, how that outcome is going to be. You know that it is just going to work in your closet today, tomorrow, years from now, because you are buying things that are consistent with your adjectives, with your modifier and that are in tune with the way that you want to feel. So another way to get this as well, a really easy shortcut way to is, we know that we are all fans of jewelry here. So for me, I do tend to get a lot of things in that green tone. These are mine from Completed Works. So this is my bracelet, this is my son's though. But um, Completed Works, you guys, you know, we don't, we don't have any sponsorships. We just love certain brands and Completed Works is one of them and probably because they do a lot of green and I love like the texture and I love like if you decide to go more full on here, you mm -hmm. have got your yellow toes going on. <laughs> the la but like that's giving like a whole really amazing yeah, I vibe happening. Yes, indeed. So you want to talk about I was going to tell you something is? because I think that conversation, oh, the crispy <laughs> cut out, um, sweater. Yes. <laughs> I wanted so, to talk yeah. about her, her recipe analogy because I, I think I'm a pretty good cook. I don't want to say if, if someone's here and they didn't like my food or Amy, you have not eaten it, but when I you do. Either. I had that pie, but you didn't make it. Oh, I pretended to make Pete's pie for Amy, but it, <laughs> if you had Pete's, you know it was amazing. Yeah, um, that was the first time I've had it. And we have it all the time now. Yeah. But it took me a really long time to get to the point where I could shop without a recipe. Because in the beginning, I really needed the guidance for that. And I think in many ways, I'm working through that with how my style is changing and evolving. So I think we should like, give ourselves grace, but also like learn what the tools are. You yeah. know, learn what our cabinet or our cupboard needs. Mm -hmm. One, okay, I know I need oregano. Yeah. So I know I need a good pant. What color do I need? Do I need oregano and parsley? Probably. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense, but it doesn't really, in my mind. It makes so much sense because someone told me the other day, they're like, oh, I've got this stylist. And it's amazing because he's taken like 70 outfits and he's posted them all over my closet wall. And okay. But like, they probably have a formula that he didn't share yet. Right. And, and the, the goal is to give you the formula. Right. You need the formula so you can have ease in the morning when you get dressed along your day and feel like yourself. Yeah. And so that you can build things too. Like it's funny, I'm wearing. Trying to decide, normally I have this thing where I don't like collars mm -hmm. with, but, it, but here's the thing too. Okay, like if you know that you don't usually wear a collar when you have a lapel, because maybe it feels a little too businessy. And again, sometimes this is circumstantial. If I, wor I worked in a big office for a while, I don't like feeling overly corporate, yep. so I'm sensitive about that. But sometimes too, just Did you tuck, tuck it. Yep. Just I was gonna say, just tuck it. You just tuck your collar under. So then this becomes like not about 
going and buying this shirt. You like make, a V-neck. And you have a collar one and a non-collar one? In the same color? You exactly. don't need that. This you is just, great. Even if you unbuttoned it one, it will be... You tuck it under, or I'm going to go up here and like, talk amongst yourself, but I just want to see how I will. this works. So someone asked me about the Wilbur, and Amy wears this all day long. I actually wear it as well. I have it in the shorter heel today. The width is really nice, and it's not a rude... I think um, width or heel, I have a pretty wide foot and I'm able to wear it comfortably every day. Oh my so, God, it's shoes. Right, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. this is the Wilbur, do not be afraid of the Wilbur. It gave me the right amount of heel because I love how I can kind of stand and get the good puddle with the Murray. So that's what I'm wearing under here. And this is a color combo that I really, really enjoy. I feel really great in. You should. And this is, this reads I mean, more like a neutral. This the whole thing looks so. Okay. Amy just lost and this is true, over. like if you have, things in your closet like again like this is where you know like you don't need seven yellow bags like but if you have one yellow bag can I just tell you this is probably somewhere on my old Pinterest of Julia Star Ramos like this is the same mm -hmm. energy right just, yes. uh, yeah and yeah, so this is good. yeah so you guys just uh, I really I know so many this of you great. write to me you're you're all now at so many different stages of like being anxious, but then like being really settled in and knowing where things work for you. But I just wanted to show you, um, and I'm gonna be honest, something like this does work with someone who's very flat, like I am, the ability to turn the shirt around. Um, but again, just playing with your clothes and being in tune with the mood that you're in because if I was in the mood to wear something a little more covered up, then I'm just gonna turn this around and that's gonna be my thing. And I'm probably not gonna wear it now with the blazer because that's going to feel too covered. But um, again, for someone whose closet can never have too much green, if I like always need this kind of I would probably forego the green dress here because I mean the green um, the green bag here because then that's just like ridiculous. But um, just like knowing that you can just mash all this up, you can just be blindfolded in your closet and have it all work together. That just um, is such a good feel. Question? Yeah. No. Did you say the name of that? Just this trench coat. Yeah. Search trench coat. This is the amazing trench coat. I'm I'm so bad at the. Sorry, no, but I have an excuse because Tracy is all up my ass. To, we're behind on. Um, we are behind on spring 20, 24, which is ridiculous. She's trying to bother me about whether or not I should have what colors or whatever right now. So it's a little crazy. Um, so we are down at the end, so, so I'm and about this one's going to come out. And you are wearing uh, the body, the oh, body suit. Wait, can I tell you the bodysuit need? Sure. So my friend Tanya, she had her amazing birthday party this weekend, and I wore the black pinstripe jumpsuit, and I wore the and I wore the white baby tee underneath it, but I had to put on like a pair of Spanx mm -hmm. underneath to tuck in the top tee because it kept coming up. So when you're wearing like a jumpsuit or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's like, that's, so that's why this, I wish yeah. I had, I wish I brought the bodysuit home. Oh, you brought the t-shirt version. Brought the t-shirt. Okay, now I understand. So then I had to like fake out a t-shirt, which if you have to do that, just put on like commando boy shorts or something or Spanx and then tuck your t-shirt into yeah, exactly. it. But yeah. But yeah, this is the bodysuit version. I think also yes. because Sometimes I want to wear things a little bit lower or higher. Like I don't really like don't want to have like whatever I'm Skinny. coming into. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I decided to go with kind of like an all neutral look. I guess like ring three, if you will. Yes. With the navy. So good. Um, so I am wearing our new Wilbur sandal. Yes. Clearly not my size, guys. This is a 40. I'm a 36. Um, <laughs> Yes, but so don't run big. It's, just... it's merely for color to show you. Um, the navy satin gray skirt 
is my size. This is a double zero. This is also the midi length because I figured I would love the maxi, but for me, it's just a little bit too long. And this, if I wear it with a flat, it, you know, it hits my ankle. So I kind of feel like it's the perfect length for me personally. And I'm wearing it with the mauve um, t-shirt bodysuit that we also have in white. Okay, so stay here. I'm gonna like just change okay. really quickly. And hope that no one. Is your <laughs> HR. Sir, yeah, skirt. The, the skirt is the navy satin midi skirt. We also have the maxi length, which is what we showed on the runway. Again, I'm wearing the midi version, and I'm five feet. I specifically chose the midi because I knew it would be at a longer length. Right now, now we're literally. Yeah, there. well, I just wanted to show you. I was wearing the um, the higher heel a minute ago okay. with this, um, but it absolutely works. Oh yeah. With a complete flat as well, and you guys, I am five foot five. I think this is also the long one because we don't. I think the regulars out. Um, yeah. So this is it's a really good skirt. Can this, you tell me about the weight of that skirt? Like. So this fabric weight. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, here's the jacket. So bring it up closer. Oh, full iron. So what's great about this fabric, the skirt is fully lined, of course, because you've got the, the buttons, the trouser detail. Th these are all hidden. Um, sometimes in, I'm in the mood to see buttons and sometimes I'm not. This time I was not, but you've got the hidden pocket detail on both the front and the back. But the weight of the fabric, first of all, like I'm just gonna let you listen to it if all of y'all like, shh. Oh, ASMR. ASMR. Oh, is that the technical I term? I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know. No, That's all techie talk for the sound. Oh. Anyways, it has a really good sound. Um, it is a little bit um, suede in feel. And so you can see it's, I'm sorry, it's just so good. But the jacket is fully lined here. And you guys remember, um, if we choose to line something or if we don't, it always is for a reason. So if we don't line it, it's because we wanted the ease of being able to have something unlined. And when we do line it, it's because we wanted to give something a little structure. And that structure added to something cotton feels like really interesting. It's a good like push play. So you can hear how good it sounds. Yeah. I don't have that sound, but it's like... We do. Yeah. We want our clothes to talk to us, and that's why we'll also make sure they're not like talking too much. Yeah. Talk through what you're wearing. Oh, absolutely. So you guys have seen this trench before. We've worn this trench together. I think it's a, a trio. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, this this is this is the live cell. Um, I wanted to show you guys just wearing a neutral back. I'm actually wearing the crispy. Um, crispy cotton. Crispy cotton. I think it's like a polo. Yeah. <laughs> it is a polo. Can I see that on you? But yeah. The, okay. Absolutely. I actually have the, not, this is now one, because I took the scarf that's attached to the back of the trench and wore it as a little bandana. Resort shawl. Yeah, and it's my one. And so you can see also, we can talk about sheerness, the good sheer. You can see a little bit of skin, a little bit of belly button, but it's not bad. Um, and I'm wearing it navy and black. My toes are one in yellow, and this is actually an extra large slip skirt. So you guys can see um, the slip skirt is not transparent. I'm actually coming up with some kind of coating so you guys can know when things are transparent and when they're not. Um, and how, you know, we know you have lots of tools for how to work with it then if something is more transparent. I love the Nate. Oh, hi. Like this. Hi. Hello, it's me. Hello. Oh, good. It's one. <laughs> um, That's so pretty. I love a party of one. Hello. Um, okay, so. All right. So, No one's ever said that. See, that don't work. <laughs> but Matt sings as well. Matt Should we sing together? Sing one day. One, form, yes. Anyways, this looks great. Yeah. Um, so guys, here come up for like. We ended know, up in the same color palette. Yeah, we've stood around now a cu couple times in something that all goes together, and that is um, the beauty of the collection is 
it was designed with a lot of diversity in shapes and everything, but in terms of the mood, it is really very focused on one mood, and that was to feel more, to feel better, and to feel more. So anything pretty much that you go onto the site from resort to spring, it all works together. Totally. It really does. So you can feel good about that, and it's gonna also work with things um, that you've worn in the past. And if you did buy like that bright turquoise or red from resort a year ago, oh, yeah. I love that with this. I, you will see me wearing that red yeah. bodysuit with that. And the turquoise. And the turquoise. And, the turquoise. and everything yeah. people are excited about for fall. Oh, so all good. Back with bricks with ball. Exactly. Um, I will also put out a DM. There were questions on the difference between the baby tea and then the regular tea. One is uh, baby. One is baby. <laughs> one is Sarah's like, we call baby. one baby and not one not. Like, does it? Anyways. One is a crop. Yeah, we'll be a little more explanatory. So, um, all right, guys. We will um, see you next week. Okay. And um, yeah, later. Bye. Bye.